All right, let's talk about Mid Journey V6. I've done one video, well, two videos actually, on V6. This is my third one. And this is gonna be a quick one because I just wanna get my message across and as quick as possible and keeping it to the point, okay? Because I want you to use this method right away. And I believe in actions and hands-on experience rather than just come and give you news and fake opiums and clickbait. So without wasting time, again, ladies and gents, welcome back. First of all, I was actually trying to do this earlier on. This was my, well, this was supposed to be the topic installing auto gen if you remember it just came out last month well december last year auto gen you can, where you can connect multiple gpts together i ran into some issues so i'm like okay we'll do this next time so this is coming i'll show you how to install auto gen locally uh, using python and all this stuff okay and second i will also talk about use well creating gpts from scratch knowledge-based gpts so we will have Autogen, we will have GPTs, two topics. All right, so stay tuned. And of course, we have multiple stuff as well. Now, let's talk about Mid Journey. I wanna show you something real quick, okay? Two things you could do. You could add one extra, three, let's keep it three. First, let's actually show you. This is my version of ChatGPT, all right? I want you to act as a prompt engineer. You'll help me write prompts for an AI art generator called Mid Journey. I'll provide you with short content ideas and your job is to elaborate this into full, explicit, coherent prompts. Prompts involving describing the content and style of images in concise, concise, accurate language. It is useful to be explicit and use references to popular culture, artists, and mediums. By the way, I have taken multiple of these from different parts of the internet, and I've added my own twist into it, along with links and stuff. And then I created this whole thing, okay? It's just basic stuff. And uh, you can just uh, type a couple of sentences, just tell, hey, act like a prompt engineer for this is this, and it should work out. But yeah, of course, mine has a lot of extra elements into it. And you can see, I've included something like this, important, only provide vivid trending. I could remove this, trending. Sometimes this doesn't work as well, all right? Some of my favorite artists, you can add more your favorite artists as well. You can add more, you can remove, right? Analyze and refer to the following links for guidance. Because now, since ChatGPT can access the internet website, I thought, yeah, let's actually feed more knowledge and it knows the rules, etc. So keeping all this aside, now what happens is it tells me, understood, blah, 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 all right? I'm going to go all the way to the down, all the way, okay? So over here, now if I give it, let's say, okay, let's give it the doom and gloom of the economy, all right? Just random, I'm not trying to spook anybody. What, what it's gonna do is gonna actually use all the details I provided earlier on and create something interesting. Well, it will give you three different prompts because I asked for three different examples, instances at any given point, okay? You can ask for four or five, it's pretty simple. So this is one, two, right? It's giving me at even 69, that's a wide screen. You can ask for one is to two ratio, vertical, now what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to copy this, right? I'm going to go back to my, of course, Discord. Literally paste it. Everything is just in there, literally, including the prompt imagine, right? The prefix. And of course, I can change some of the stuff if I want to. Now, another interesting part. If you've seen, there's a place where it says style, right? If you can locate it, well, I could actually... Uh, find it and search control find f control s but regardless if you see here style of tim burton i could literally change this okay look so over here i believe i'm doing it right you can add another style here okay you can add two two or three more styles so if i went back from from my own style all right so style of ron english style of chris foss right what if I did this? Check this out. Chris Foss. If you remember the artist, why not? But I'm just saying, I'm just playing with this right now. Chris Foss. Then we have the other one. Right? We have Ron English. All right? So I'm going to... It's going to give me three variations. If I'm not wrong. All right? Let's actually try this. He'll ask me. Yes. So this is one. Now... 
I'd like you to go back and try the second one. All right. We have this one. Whoa, that's a lot. And I'm just doing this just to see the difference. What kind of result we get out of this. This is going to be very handy. You can use it for print on demands, for thumbnails, for any graphic stuff. Believe it or not. Mid Journey is fantastic. With all the tech stuff right now, sky's the limit. All right. So while this generates, I'm going to show you something else. So we have this. If you want to change something, you can say, hey, I want you to give all three in Ron English style. It could do that. All right. I'm just giving you out of my head ideas. A dystopian artistic. How, how about you make all of these dystopian? Okay, could you just give me all three in dystopian style? Yeah, that, that could be done. All right. So I'm going to keep this aside for now because I want to show you something. Another one. Interesting stuff. All right. Yep. We have this mid journey prompt generator. This was around since the beginning of mid journey for quite some time. It was very different. It was not even like this. Very basic. Of course, they have revamped the entire website. They never had any sign up for free on whatever. I'm not sure what they do, but as far as I know, they have this straight up thing where you can plug and play. And I'm going to show you this right now. And I hope it works because I have not tested this prior to this. All right. Over here. And if you look, it has mid journey six here. It, it used to be only till four and five, I believe so. And it was stuck for quite some time, a few months. But now it has six, which means they have updated this. They have some plans, I'm sure. Maybe they'll, um, I don't know, any a for paid plan or something. Whatever that is. But this is totally free here. And this is all we need. Copy prompts, save prompts, right? Optimize. Let our AI improve our prompt. Okay, that's interesting. Save my, to my prompts. So yeah, if you sign up, I guess you can save and create your prompts. So now, look, look at this one. So aspect ratio 6.9, version 6. Quality, I don't, I don't want to mess with this. Stylize, uh, um, nope, nope, repeat. Styles, all right, look at this one. This is the interesting one. So now you can look in the style. You're like, you know what, I want this style. I want this symmetric, all right? No, I don't want this one. <laughs> Lightning, look at this one. Lightning, all right? I'll show you, obviously, some of them. Just give me a second. Upload inspirational an image. This is interesting. If you upload one, it'll probably take some of the stuff from there and give you here. So you can see this here? Is building the prompt here so camera dslr uh, i could actually do this let's take dslr here all right uh artist artist we have um let's keep banksy yeah let's take this one andrew andy warhol of course all right if you remember i've shown you the artist on my prompting right yeah this is pretty similar and over here you can play with a lot of, uh, a lot of these these increase and decrease the power the impact on the thing Right, we call it noise colors. Okay, interesting. Let's try orange. Orange, that's weird. Material, wow, gold. This is gonna be crazy because I'm using so many variants, right? Because yeah, if you want to keep it simple, that would have been better. But anyway, now you see what happened. I have all of this stuff here. Now, if I give my idea, like let's say corporate. <laughs> Meltdown. Uh oh. Why am I so glo gloom and doom? Meltdown. I don't know. I'm just saying. So, corporate meltdown. Imagine prompt. This is very simple, straightforward. You can optimize it like it says. Should I click on it? Let's try. Uh oh. I don't know what it does. But I'm going to just leave it. I'm going to copy this. All right. Copy prompt. Now, I'm going to go to mid journey. Oh, look at this. Fascinating. I am just a sucker for graphics. Look at this. You probably didn't even imagine that, oh, you would have got this. Just look at this one. I wasn't expecting any of these, but I'm like, okay, I could use this for something now or something else. Because see, I was asking for all the gloom and doom stuff, right? So now if you didn't get what you wanted, you could re-roll it, right? You could re-roll or yeah, change the prompt, change the artist. Cha this is cool. This is nice. Whichever you like, maybe you can save the prompts, refine it, etc. Now I'm going to actually try the other one. All right, let's try this one. This is very weird compared to this one. This is just one liner with Andy Warhol, orange, gold, aspect ratio, DSLR, really straight up. You see, this is too much of details explanation. And I know things can change. I could literally now go back to the prompting and tell, hey, can you summarize this, make it shorter, make it in two lines? Yep, that could be done. However, 
Let's see. Check this out. Provide two more in different artist style. Right? Let's see if it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it's a little awkward, but there you go. See here what it says? Manor, manor of Jesek, Yerka. So that's the artist. Yeah, there are a lot of unknown artists here. Here, look at this. Realistic style of Edward Hopper. So I literally said, give me two more of different artist style. So it shows this and that. I could literally be a little more specific, maybe. Choose somebody who is a little dystopian or controversial artist. Something like that. That, that would give me something too. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to try this. Why not? Last two. Oh, whoa. Look at this. Yeah, I wasn't expecting letters. I could say negative, no text. That would actually work. I believe so. Let's actually paste this too. All right, let's actually do this. And now another thing is you could take this, right? Save it for, for example, you have, let's, let's assume you have all the images, right? You have, you're done. You got the images. Now what? All right. Now you want to create print on demand or you want to create thumbnail, go to clip drop. Now clip drop tools. You can remove the background. Well, we don't have to remove the background, but what we can do, you can reimagine it. Okay. You could reimagine, you could uh, add text. Well, I don't actually use this to add text. You can use Photoshop, Photo P. There's several others tools. Those are basic stuff. You have, but this one is pretty interesting. The stuff it does when you go to reimagine. And on top, obviously, I'm not covering this today. I've done a video on this clip drop. I have an entire video explaining all of these features. Yeah. So maybe go and watch it. But man, this is pretty cool. Fascinating stuff. All right. So again, coming back to this, you can play with this. All right. Artist material instead of gold. Let's see bronze. Now, I want to remove this. All right. Color remove um, DSLR. Let's actually remove the camera because that's what I, it's a little mess. Yeah, let's remove the camera. Artist, let's actually choose something else now. Okay, it doesn't have a lot of options though. Hence, you could, how about this? Hence, you could use the artist I've given and you could plug, uh, you know what? Check this out. Let's try this, okay? Let's give it a shot. Let's see if this works. Could you provide a list of 10 more similar artists. I just need the artist names, popular and trending ones, trending ones. Check this out. I'm sure it's going to be able to do it. All right, there you go. Banksy, but I'm, and I don't have them on my list though. That's the best part. I believe so. If I do, I can say, hey, can you just give me the ones which are not on my list? That is also possible. Yeah, I mean, straightforward. But yeah, I can I can totally understand that Banksy is not on my list. None of these are on my list. So fascinating, right? They have all of these. Now you can actually say, hey, I want the same three prompts given by these three artists, right? So now, again, going back to this, if I check, just take one of these, I want to keep it simple. Style is what I want to play with a little more, all right? Over here, let's actually keep it mm, helix, graffiti, horror. Yeah, let's actually do this. Continue. All right. Corporate meltdown in Egypt. <laughs> that would be, that's a little weird. No, no, no. How about this? Camel. Camels running beside pyramids in Egypt in ancient Egypt. Okay, now that's interesting, right? Now we shall copy this and we will just paste it. All right, ladies and gents, this is going to be the last one. Look at this one. Look at the stuff that comes out with what I we just discovered, literally. So you can understand DSLR. This is DSLR. Wow. Okay. I've never actually played with camera stuff at all. Now everything makes sense. Hence, yeah, this is a never-ending topic. We will be discovering and exploring a lot more down the road. Every time I discover something, I'll do a follow-up, okay? Look at this one here. I can actually use this as a thumbnail, probably. I'm not too sure what, but just give me some ideas, actually. Now, let's, this, let's make this the last one for now, okay? 15 minutes top video. 
I think that's good for now. Yeah. Let's not drag it long enough. And yeah, you could save this. Obviously, this is not print on demand stuff because I only, I didn't ask for stickers. I only asked for, these are my easy thumbnail stuff, all right? The prompt I've shown you here, this one is just for viral thumbnails. I just said, give me viral thumbnails. If I actually said, you know what? I'm actually going to create a prompt and uh, some just like viral thumbnails, I'm gonna do it for stickers. Yeah, that'll be interesting or print on demand products. So whenever we just give a prompt, it's gonna give us the designs or whatever, the, uh, uh, I mean the prompts, and it's gonna, we're gonna plug it on mid journey in order to get good stuff. All right, let's see if I can do it. I mean, it's not if I can, if I can be efficient and make it better, okay? So yeah, I'll report back down the road. Let's actually finish this off with this. Wait, I don't see any camels. What are you showing me? Camels running, and also it's, okay, by the way, it's, it's horror, so that's a little controversial and weird. You see what I mean? I'm using horror with Andy Warhol, also with Neil, Leonardo da Vinci. Wait. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't see any camels anywhere. Yeah, this is a little messy. You see what, what happened here? It combined everything. Yeah, I can understand this why. Because I have horror. Okay, it's very horror. You can see that. It's suspense, right? Then Andy Warhol, that's his style. Plus Leonardo da Vinci. Artist Andy Warhol and Leonardo da Vinci is the style. Okay, that's crazy. Now, you know what I'm gonna do? Why not? Let's actually remove horror. Let's try this. How about this? Alright, since we're doing this, why not? Alright. That's number one. Let's try another one. Horror three. Let's remove Da Vinci. Let's remove this. And let's remove horror. Yeah? Check this out. I'm just curious. Because that's when, when you isolate, you understand how they how different they are come on that's my last one let's finish it off wow this is cool yeah i mean this this is what it is right leonardo da vinci along with andy warhol this is cool i don't see a camel somewhere maybe the camel is somewhere riding somewhere in, in the background yeah hidden somewhere oh wow okay See, now it makes sense here. Camels running beside pyramids in ancient Egypt. Leonardo da Vinci. Okay. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> look at this. This is crazy. Yeah, some of them look weird, but this is, yeah, they're all accurate. Aspect ratio. This has nothing. This is straightforward, right? This is straight with nothing. And this one has Leonardo da Vinci with it. That's it. See the difference here? Just with one extra style add it that's the only difference look at this so this one has oh wow okay this is cool so leonardo da vinci style to some extent i can see it okay makes sense <laughs> look at this scamble but this one yeah sure so simplicity works keeping it simple maybe with some camera lens and stuff okay so ladies and gents i really hope you found this useful i just wanted to play with it hands-on and this is how you learn okay because yeah, this is how I do it. So I hope you found it useful. I'll come back, do a follow-up and go play with it. You don't need hundreds of image tools, like image gen tools, one or two, max one, I mean max two. And you can just, yeah, play with it, use it, make money and uh, yeah, do whatever you want for humanity, not against. And I will probably see you in the next video. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. If you want me to cover any other topics, and like I said, I'm coming up with this, okay? So stay tuned. This is going to be an interesting one. I've shown you how to install Stable Diffusion locally in my previous, uh, one of the previous videos. This is going to be another interesting one. Because once you learn all these things, few skills, just practice, practice, and man, we can do some, we can create some good stuff. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.